Hello everyone, welcome to another tech video by Design Fusion. My name is Gaurav and I'm an application engineer. In this video, we will perform buckling analysis on frame structure. We will determine if it's strong enough to withstand the load. We will change the structure if it required to support the load. Analyze the structure from both standpoints of strength and stability. Utilize the most efficient way to analyze sheet metal structures. Here is our computer rack structure. You can see that these are top support, bottom support, and four vertical support. Since we are dealing with sheet metal parts, the length and thickness ratio is great. Trying to use a tetrahedral mesh would be very counterproductive and won't produce very accurate results. The better way is to use surface element. We are going to extract mid surfaces for the components. Now let's select mid surface command from surface group on simulation geometry tab. We will be extracting mid surfaces for all the components. The default ratio would be 0.5 and the offset side would be side 2. Once the mid surface are extracted, you can see them by going to simulation tab. And in order to avoid any confusion, I'm going to go to the pathfinder and hide all the components. It's time to perform the study. Let's go ahead and start a new study. The study type would be linear and the mesh type would be surface as discussed. I will select all the components for a study. As the study is created, you could see they have been highlighted in the simulation tab. Now let's go ahead and define our load. I will be defining 200 pound force acting downwards and our computer structure will be standing on the ground. And for our base, I will give it a constraint as a fixed. Once the fixed constraint is given, Let's go ahead and find out if we have any gaps in our assembly. I can see those gap. It's better that we measure the gap. It will help us creating the connectors by using inspect tab going to measure minimum distance. I can calculate the gap between them. It says 1.9 mm. In this case, we will, we will be doing our edge to surface connectors at first hiding our top support selecting the edges of our vertical support the search distance I'll give it three being at the safer side and now we'll select the surface of our top support once done you can see the connectors created I will perform and repeat the same process for our bottom structure as well hide our bottom support selecting the edges of our vertical support giving it a search distance of three millimeters and now selecting the surface of our bottom support Now you could see our constraint load connectors all be defined. Let's go ahead and mesh and solve the model. Oh, we get the warning message. The warning message says that the mesh and the geometry is very complex. It means that we are supposed to refine our mesh in order to solve the study. So now go ahead again, go to mesh and solve. In this case, we will be selecting a finer mesh and see what our results is. You could say this is our failed model. The yield stress that is 27.6 and the maximum load is around 52 
and you could see the maximum load has been acting on the top support which means either we can change the thickness of our top support or we can make changes to our design but let's just follow our first approach in this case i will be editing the thickness and making it more thick what i could do is i can copy my existing study and paste it into my simulation group now under the geometry i will increase the thickness of our mid surfaces belongs to which belongs to the, our top surface i'll give it a five millimeter and now let's go ahead and do a mesh and solve this look much better you can see the yield stress is 27 and our maximum stress is 9.5 megapascal and all the loads are between 1 to 4 megapascal so this gives us a, gives us a direction that editing or changing the thickness of our top support takes us somewhere now our next approach would be changing the design for our top and bottom and see what results we get now we do not need our study tool. I can surely go and delete it. Here you can see that we have made some design changes to our model. We have added two sheet metal tabs at the top and at the bottom. First, let's extract mid surfaces out of it. Same as before, the offset ratio would be 0.5 and offset side would be 2. Once done, I'm going to hide the components from Pathfinder and you can see the mid surface extraction at simulation tab. Now let's go ahead and perform our study. Every operation in this would be same as before and that's the reason this video will move a little faster than before. Here I am adding those connectors. And now let's go ahead and mesh and solve this model. E Egan value in this case is 4 and if we multiply the Egan value with the load which was 200 pound force the results turn out to be 800 pound force and this is the critical load at which some vertical members will booker. At this point we can determine that the area of concern is the top member which is top support dot PSM. And we need to reinforce it either by changing to a stronger material or increasing its thickness. Vertical members are fine for this load which was 200 pound force. Factor for safety for the weakest member is around 6.3 for linear static analysis and about 4 for buckling analysis. I hope this video has helped. I'm going to see you very shortly with another video on solid simulation. Signing off.